so today I wanted to do a ceiling fan chain pull for you guys. I am new to this, but I just want to walk you through the process. So what I've done here, I'm actually trying Elmer's glue wall. I have that mixed up. I have two thirds Elmer's glue wall, one third water, and this is the glue wall that I use. And we are going to do cranberry. I'm just using this Walmart brand paint. So what I like to do first is I like to take the glue wall mix and I like to just spread it on. I normally use Floetrol, but one of my friends was telling me she loves to do it this way and said that she likes the effect it gives. So I figured that I would just film it in case anyone else wants to do it this way. I've always done it, you know, like I said, I'm new to this, but I've always done my paintings with Floetrol. I thought it'd be fun to try this technique out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint. I'm just going to put some down in here. My husband does all kinds of stuff. And so he brought me this chain in. And so I wanted to try it. And all I do is just spritz it with a little bit of water. And then I like cells in my flour. Some people don't, but I do. So I'm using this coconut milk. And all I do is just a couple squirts. And then I am just mixing this up. We're gonna see how this works. I normally wear gloves, you guys. But I do not have any. I actually, I actually ran out. So we're just gonna do it with my hand. And then, of course, let me show you the kind of chain I'm using. This is what he brought me in. And so what I'm going to do is just stick it in my cup. As far as I think I want my pool to go, my flower. So I'll just stick it in there. And then I'm just going to mix it up and get it wet in the paint. And I have tissue laying here beside me since I don't have gloves. And then I'm just going to place it just like this. I take a popsicle stick and that is how I clear some of the paint off. I like using this um, chain pull method. It just, it's fun. I usually use string. So like I said, I'm new to this one, but we're just going to see what happens. And I just kind of pull mine kind of fast, not real, real fast, but and it does get a little messy so I'm going to take a paper towel and just cleaning off my chain I'm going to dip it right back in there and what I'm going to try to do is make a couple flowers beside this one and like I said this does get messy so kind of have to be careful We're just going to lay it back on here. This is just so fun. I think this is good therapy. Then we'll dip it back in and I'll try to put one more flower. I like how it's spreading out. And that 
is how it looks. I think it turned out great. Try to zoom you guys in a little bit. So you can see. So that's the finished product. And we'll see what it turns out to look like when it dries. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.